rehydration complete. Final fans. I love this song. How long was that break? Ten minutes? That's fine. Hello. It's me who just inhaled and swallowed like way too much air. Zeph! <laughs> Do it again. Thank you for the 420 gold pieces to get me to imitate drugs. So, welcome to Stream Zeph, how are you? When we last left off, uh, I got cucked by Gordon. Although I can't blame him, because Gordon is the single handedly destroyed the Dreadnought. And we all know that the real. The real MVP of this quest is Gordon. We're all very sad, even though I've been trying my best and doing my darndest. He just keeps up staging me at every turn. He did the entire Dreadnought and then some without taking a single bit of damage. Unless he goes on the floor. But... <clears throat> Still. So, um... If I recall correctly, we had just gotten the White Mask... And we went to the Tower of the Wizards, where I assume we were supposed to take both the masks to get in, because we were told to take both masks there to get in, and we went there, and we didn't get in. So I don't know where the hell we are supposed to go, or if the game was broken, but my first guess is that I'm going to look for a place that I haven't been on the, the wizarding world and land. Because there's that, um... There's that yellow dot in the middle of... Presser, right, arise! There is this yellow dot, which I couldn't get into. And then there was this yellow dot, which I couldn't get into. Because this one is a cave that has a fucking, like, doppelganger in it. That prevents me from going any further. And the tower won't let me in because the tower won't let me in. I'm guessing there's like maybe a settlement up here or around there because I skirted the outside of the islands and didn't find nothing. So we're going to go look. Did you find my city of the town yet? No, that's what I was going to go look for. Because I tried to look for anything else that I could go into from the shoreline, but I couldn't see anything. So I'm guessing there is just a third area I have to go to. Possibly in my city of the town. Possibly in the middle of over here, where I could not see. Ow, my HP. 240. Ice. Essen. That one's just called bomb. Yeah, maybe the hidden or was just out of view. Can I kill these without using magic? They're actually doing damage to them. They also might have like 800 health. And swords don't. Oh boy. Poison. Horn. I did not mean to do that. That is not the back button. There's my city of the town. Yeah, oh, it's filled with mages. The city of kingdom of mages. You've certainly come a long way to be here. Can I? Can I be one of the adorable little black face aesthetic mages? I love that aesthetic. I believe it is as you say. It's time to break the seal upon the tower. Is
I said that right. With many ancient texts in our towns, please browse them at your leisure. These artifacts protect the seal on the tower. Some time ago, a wizard named Minwoo passed through this town on his way to the tower. You'd best hurry after him. The statue of the goddess is enshrined beneath the city. She watches over the crystal rods. <laughs> I'll have, like, better equipment I can buy. Assuming I have money for it. I have money for it. What can I do for you? Power stick. Flame lance. Ogre killer. Need me two of those. I don't think anybody in our party uses spears. We got axes, swords, maces. Which... Does he have two power staffs? And daggers. He needs another power staff. <laughs> there we go. Now he can murder much harder. Blue. I got ice shield. No knight's armor. No thief's glove. Te technically, I think we went giant's glove for everyone, right? Because agility doesn't increase damage. Agility increases defense or something, right? I don't know because I can't look. Yeah, right now I think we just want to stack damage. Yeah, because, like, you'll switch to the the power stick. Yeah, it increases your evasion. Like, even on her... Her evasion is already 99. Uh... This does not follow standard RPG rules of agility governs small baby weapons. Nah, when you want to stab, you stab hard. And that does the extra damage. Big rippling muscles. Tiny little skewer stick. Holy shit, there's a lot of spells. I already know all those. I already know all those. These are all going to start at level 1 and be goddamn useless, though. Plus HP and MP with a target when used in battle. Can you grind this up so hard you can use it on the final boss? If I get to, like, swap 20 or something... That would be amazing. Yep. Now I can buy all my Phoenix Downs. And I can use Phoenix Downs in combat, too, I think. Yeah, I don't think I want any magic. Magic in this game fucking sucks. Like, it was fucking awesome in the first game, but in this one it's just meh. Like, you gotta go grind for two hours per freaking spell. I agree it is the time. We will do nothing to stop you. First, you must collect two masks. Wow! Within, you should find a crystal... Ra Wait... What? Then travel to a certain cave somewhere on this continent. Within you should find a crystal rod, an artifact you'll need if you want to enter the tower. I found the certain cave. The doppelganger kept me from going in. Do I have to, like, go here first? Mask. Alright. Do I, for some reason, already have the crystal stick? Nope. Do I just have to go to the town first before it sets the flag that I can get past the doppelgangsters?
like the look of this fight. But we also have so many attacks, we might just win. Yep, a thousand. Nice. You're still skipping a step. Am I? Because I have both masks. It says take the mask to a certain cave on this island. That's literally what he said. Rain? I didn't misread that. This time you must collect two masks, travel to a certain cave somewhere on this continent. Within you'll find a crystal rod. Back mask, white mask. The mask isn't what's needed to get in the tower. Yeah, but I have to get past the doppelganger in the cave to get the crystal rod is what I, I reckon. But I had the two masks before, and I went to that cave, and the doppelganger still wouldn't fuck off. So, even though I have the mask, do I still have to go to the town first, is what I'm thinking? Or, because I got the masks, at least the black mask, way early, did I break the game? Did you put the white mask on the statue? All he said was that I need to to the white mask to the thing. Put the both mask to the cave. This fight's gonna suck. This fight is gonna suck balls. Never mind, they snapped out of the confusion. Crystal rod for the statue. Do I also need to use the white mask on the statue? Or does the crystal rod open the the door? But you do have to use the statues on the god fucking damn it. I tried the black one, but not the white one. Son of a bitch! Oh, it's throbbing. So then where the crap do I use the black mask? Yeah, I thought I had to use the crystal rod on the statue, and that broke the seal. That's the implication that I got, and it was wrong. I'm just waiting for one of these to high roll and do like a thousand damage with their explosion, or for me to get ambushed. And for them to all high roll and one shot, not one shot, but one turn my entire party. It would suck. It almost happened once. You're right about how you use the black mask, you just can't use that first using the white mask on the statue. Gotcha. Lame. Sometimes it works. And this is why we buy a max stack of antidotes. Ha! 
Ah. I hate randomly encountering enemies that are just immune to physical damage. Because when I instinctively press the uh, the do button, it does not do. Or I guess it does do, but it does wrong. <laughs> Can't do wrong if there's no fight. I've done the mass thing. Fuck off, dude. Hang on. Wait. Now fuck off. The doppelganger is motionless. The purity of Fengard's heart is stifling the defiled heart of the creature. Mask! You place the black mask on the doppelganger. The mask and the creature vanish. You have sent it to the nether realm. Its soul will never be at peace now. An eternity of torment. The truly even fit for the most vile, yet still. Would you wish such on your deepest, darkest enemies? Hmm? Yeah, it's only because I'm an asshole. God fucking damn it! This is why I buy a max stack of golden needles. Where do we think we're going here? Progress is... One of those. Yep. Sure is one of those. Maybe I should just fight the cockatrices, because... Give me one turn them. Just barely. This is also assuming they don't get a random hidden, or four random hiddens, and then, oh, all stone. The thing I spent all of my money on. And by all of my money, I mean a pittance. A pittance of my funds. I have the wealth of nations in my back pocket. Don't ask me how I carry around like 200,000 gold. How heavy do you think that is? How many thousands of pounds? <laughs> Check it out, my party's stoned. I was gonna go for a uh, rock hard like sex joke, cause that you know, forever in the gutter. But weed, dude, yeah, weed. Smoke the weed. I'm out of water, and now I have a headache. Great, cool. Why? Why if I suck hard enough does my head hurt? Oh, 
Fuck. Can't be bothered. Uh oh, I don't like that ambush. Oh, thank God. Yes, please keep attacking the people that are already stoned. Thank you. <laughs> that could have been the end right there. Yeah, fuck the, the bombs doing, like, high rolling self-destruct. These things don't even need to high roll. They just need to not miss and attack the same person. If they were programmed to not attack people who are already stoned, man, we would have been fucked right there. Then again, they did attack us, but they just missed. I don't think my evasion's too high, either. Never mind, it's 99 somehow. What if the other room has loot in it? We'll come back for it. If we must. doors if I go all the way down to the right and a chest if I find the secret wall up here nice <laughs> you think it'd be possible to make a bot that scans your entire screen and whenever it detects the presence of a certain sequence of numbers it like blinks a little message that says nice could I make the 420 and the 69 bot that'd be great alas when it comes to programming I can like edit files at best my experience with programming was taking a single line of code from a Stellaris to uh, to make a Stellaris mod and cutting it out of like the actual game's code to, to make the mod. Because the mod was to make it so that if you're a cyborg, you could still have an AI synthetic uprising. Because for some reason, even though you're half fleshy, all the robots you're just terribly, horribly oppressing are, are just going, yeah, they're partially robots, so, uh, I guess we're just cool with brutal slavery. And I thought that was dumb. So I wanted to make a mod that made it so even if you are cyborg, unless they had full synthetic rights, they'd still rebel. So I just took the uh, the modifier for if you have this trait, this cannot happen, and snipped that one out. And that's the extent of the modding I've ever done. Or, well, mod creation I've ever done. <laughs> Do I have anybody in the back row? Speaking of row, no.
I kind of like these, uh, <laughs> the little U-turn in our mission rooms. They're slightly adorable. A full whole floor dedicated to a tiny kind of little stairwell. So you know how it breezes through the game right now? So how long until we encounter another boss that just is a shunt of a wall that I have to go grind for? Like, everything leading up to the boss is just piss fucking easy. Then you get to the boss yourself... ...and dead. Which I had been warned about, because I think it was Zeph that said, yeah, the problem, one of the problems with this game is that it's either way too easy or way too fucking hard. I, naively, in my youth of last week, thought that that meant that you're either your build will make the entire game too easy or the entire game too hard. Turns out, no, it's just certain fights, for some reason, just suddenly decide to kick your ass. How foolish. How foolish I was. But do you think there was treasure in those other three rooms? I should go check. They're nice and close together. No! Yes. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need. Maybe there's another? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'd be a nice fake if they have two whole treasure rooms right next to each other. There's only ever been one, so people would get the first and think, Aha! I've got it! Now I can skip the rest of the dungeon. But alas! Twas they who was the who. And they go and find the Sega way, it's just five potions. You're falling into the young Zeph trap of skipping everything. And then... Suddenly, the boss is just going to kick my dick in. Alright. I was thinking about that. Like, maybe I should be, because it's... It's not XP-based. It's how many times you use it. So even if it's, uh... A weaker monster... You still are getting the same amount of XP as a stronger one. Or the trap of not bothering to check any other rooms, because I'm lazy. <laughs> I do wish you could set multiple, uh, like, command groups. Like, hold L and press X to use all attacks. Press Y to do flee, press B to use all magic, or press A to do whatever the hell else you want. The monsters with super high attacks, their defense are actually great because they help you raise your weapon skill. You know, I didn't actually think of that. That 
That's a very good idea. <laughs> From now on, they'll just brutalize everything. Either we can... Big frog. Big rhino. That doesn't look like a manta ray to me. Looks like some weird kind of like fletchy buggy alien monster. Manta rays don't have tons and tons of tentacle feet. Are these the thing with the stone breath? Doesn't matter. Flower. It's like a tiny little baby Malboro. The candy cigarette to the horrible cancer lung death. What a waste! Great! What's Mini Tome do? Inflicts mini when used in battle. And pray tell, what does Mini do? Inflicts Mini. Great, cool. Informative. <laughs> I know. Fantasy. It inflicts the status of the same name. Helpful. Also, it a size, small, or minimum is a status ailment that shrinks the target. A player is still able to cast magic before their physical power drops dramatically, and it, all attacks do only a single point of damage. Their physical defense also drops, meaning the status usually affected by the eponymous spell. But it can also be removed with it, except in Final Fantasy D. Appearances, Final Fantasy 2, 3, 4, 4, Interlude, 4, The After Years, 5, 7, 9, 11, push it down 11, um, 14, Final Fantasy Dimensions, Record Keeper, Dissidia, Dissidia 12, Chocobo no Fujigi na Dungeon, Chocobo Dungeon 2, which I really want to play. I want to play Chocobo Dungeon. Sounds amazing. I just realized it existed. And Kingdom Farts. Oh my god, it makes your dude super dinky. Oh, in Final Fantasy 2, when you use an enemy, it acts as an instant death spell. Cool. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need Chocobo Dungeon. Where can I buy Chocobo Dungeon? Tell me. Ah, oh, God, it's adorable. It can't be played outside of Japan. Great! But Chocobo Dungeon 2 can. It's a PlayStation game. 
from the 90s. You play as the Chocobird. I need this. I need this game. Chat, tell me where I acquire Chocobo Dundon. And, and Chocobo Dundon that isn't probably like $5,000. Do I need to rant about the retro game market again? It's fucking horse shit. It's just a bunch of scammers artificially inflating prices. Chocobo Dungeon. It's a hundred and eight bucks, or forty, or sixty, or a hundred and fifty, or two hundred and sixty nine. Nice, eighty eight dollars without the box. Jesus, no. I also don't have a PlayStation 1. And I don't suppose they're like $20. Nope. Also price gouged. That was 30. Not bad. This fight's going great, isn't it? Can you still buy PS2s for like 20 bucks? Ah, uh, 80. There's one for 30. It's a slim, though. Slims fucking suck. Ech. I do have a PS2, though. The name Chocobo described, derives from a Japanese brand of chocolate malt ball called the Chocoball. Apparently Chocobo in Japan is Chocoboru, which sounds racist, but it is right. The mascot for this product is named Kuro-chan, a bird who says Kwe! Who is roughly a way to say eat. Thank you, random facts. So, uh, when do the Final Fantasy games start letting me summon chocobos at my leisure? And I don't care what other transportation the game gets me. I'm going with bird and nothing but bird. As far as I can help it. Is this the part where I blow 12 bucks on a uh, Final Fantasy XIV sub just to play the Chocobo Racing minigame for two weeks straight? And that's all I spent my sub on? Because I've done it once, and I'll fucking do it again. Because Mayo, uh, he's, uh, he's afraid he shows up in the chat sometimes, showed me the Chocobo Racing minigame. And also how you can, like, selectively breed chocobos to just make better racing birds and a whole bunch of other shit. And, like, feed them stuff to that same end and boost their stats and stuff and a whole bunch of their crap. And I got really into it for, like, two weekends. Off and on. And it was great.
You need to be more like chocobo ranching games. Just give me like chow garden, but it's all chocobos. Also, just give me a chow garden that's a standalone game. Come on, Sega. You're missing out on $60 at least from me. Or at most from me. I would prefer around the 30 to 40 area. Breath so bad it killed the women. Oh no. Was that the entire dungeon then? Yes. Let's see. Did I miss any chests in here? No. So not going to that one room was a fine idea. My ice melted enough to get another skooma time in. Yes. Just for you, hobo. Might be the last one of the night. <sighs> hey, doing what? Welcome back. Where is the, uh, where's the convenient itemized list of the entire Final Fantasy franchise? Oh god, here we go. Oh no, how many of these are there? Huh? Oh, this is just referring to the mechanics. I was like, that is a lot of quests. Or, of... of... That's just the main... That's the mainline ones. <laughs> and there's what? Well, oh, obviously there's fucking... <laughs> How many mainline Final Fantasy are there? I don't know. They're all numbered, though. Fifteen. Yes. Where's the list of all spin-offs? Expand. Oh, sweet fucking Jesus. Alright. Alright. That is a lot. <laughs> Incorrect because some mainline <laughs> because some games like tend to exist as a technical mainline and not a spin-off. True? True. Let's go through the list, friends! Yay! <laughs> there is Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 5, I feel like we're missing one, Final Fantasy 6, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy 9, Final Fantasy 10, Final Fantasy 11, Final Fantasy 12, Final Fantasy 13, Final Fantasy 14, Final Fantasy 15, and there's an entry for 16 apparently, which I thought was unconfirmed other than a fake trailer. Now I've just got some horny lady with the uh, wings. Yes, a uh, wings. We do English. Being developed by Creative Business Unit 3. What a goddamn depressing, like, corporate game development name. You better play Final Fantasy Tactics. I was going to skip it because I don't like tactics games like that. They really don't hit me. At least not usually. I say having... Zeph having bought both Disgaea games for me. 
to play, and I played it like the first one maybe two or three times. Fine, I'll play it. Who knows, maybe it'll... You play Battle Brothers. I... I... Eh, eh. Battle Brothers has... I guess technically it's a tactic game. Obviously it's... It... Not technically. It is a tactic game, but it's a bit of a different tactics game. Final Fantasy Tactics has a lot of, like, unit combos and setups and shit to it. And I like the, uh, RPG and equipment elements of Battle Brothers. Where in Tactics, you have to, like, juggle units and... Combo matchup counter duh. stuff. I'll play it just for you. Not you, Hobo, for Zen. Who is my sugar mama for pretty much every Final Fantasy game along with Blue right now. Anyways, Final Fantasy IV. Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Final Fantasy in IV Interlude. Final Fantasy V. Final Fantasy Legend of the Crystals. Final Fantasy Six in an Ice Circle is gonna die. I played Final Fantasy Tactics multiple times and I don't even know what you're even talking about. Maybe I am the wrong. I do have to say, much like the Final Fantasy franchise at large, my impression of tactics does come from me being, like, 13 years old. So I might be the dumb. Holy fucking shit. Here we go. Final Fantasy VIII. No, wait, that's seven. Final Fantasy VII Before Crisis. Final Fantasy VII Snowboarding? <laughs> <laughs> of all the goddamn things. Like, I I knew Chocobo Dungeon existed as a haha -ha funny spinoff, but, like, the one of the most gritty, grim, dark freaking Final Fantasy games just has... Yay, it's part! Final Fantasy VII On the Way to a Smile. Seems like a visual novel of some sort. This isn't kind of like books, is it? Alright, I need to go north to the tower. Oh yeah, it's counting books and movies. Final Fantasy VII Hoshi o Megaru Otome. Following the dead chick. Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Final Fantasy VII, Dirge of Cerberus. Final Fantasy, Dirge of Cerberus, Lost Episode. Final Fantasy VII, The One with the Sperm Souls. Wait, that's not Crisis Core. Which is the Final Fantasy one where people just turn into fucking jizz when they die? Spirits Within, there we go. Spirits Within stream when? I can't do that, that's a movie. It'll get me banned. Final Fantasy VII, The Last Order. Final Fantasy VII, Episode Denzel Washington. Might play that one. Final Fantasy VII, The Kids Are Alright. <laughs> it's a book. Final Fantasy VII, G-Bike. Is this another racer? The game was shut down. <laughs> it's a fucking mobile game. Final Fantasy VII, Picturing the Past, which does not exist on the wiki other than in name. Final Fantasy VII, Remake, Intergrade. Here's your server as a third-person shooter? I thought it was a movie. Oh, neat. Right, it's the Devil May Cry ripoff. Or, well, I guess, clone. Ripoff is, like, such a derogatory term. It might not be bad. In fact, I think I remember Dirge of Cerberus getting okay reviews.
Whenever I play Final Fantasy XIV, sees that I'm in play, says that I'm playing Final Fantasy The Spirits Within. When people ask me about it, I say, I just love this movie so much. Did you set it to say you're playing Spirits Within? Oh, fuck, right, I have to go to my boat. Or is it like a bug on Steam? Can you buy Spirits Within on Steam? Because I know Steam has some movies. I just love this movie so much. 1,200 hours. Uh... No, but you can buy a VR game called The Spirits Within. And it is Japanesey. English language not supported. We will get the most confusing VR experience ever. What Final Fantasy games are on Steam, even? The Mimopaga. 3, which I actually don't have yet. You can just buy the whole ass original 7? Or is this the remake? This is the original. Neat. And it's been smoothed out. Holy shit! It's not... doesn't have the PS1 quest. Alright, I might... Oh my god, it comes with snowboarding! Wait, why is one of the screenshots snowboarding? Is that a minigame or does it come with the snowboarding spinoff? I need that. I, I, I need to like never play Final Fantasy VII, but only ever play Final Fantasy VII snowboarding and shape my entire opinion of the game and all conversations around it. Why do I get Baldur's Gate 3 when I look up Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy 9. How am I going to play Final Fantasy 9? Because I have it on my PS Vita. And I don't think I can plug my PS Vita into my computer. As far as Final Fantasy 9 has a higher price tag than 7, probably to get people to buy the original 7 instead of just the remake. And then there's A, which doesn't have a remake. They just don't fucking care. No people won't want to buy it. Final Fantasy VIII Remastered has poorer reviews than Final Fantasy VIII Not Remastered. Which completely throws out my previous statement of it doesn't have one. The Zodiac Age is 50 bucks? That's 12? Get back. It is remastered a little bit. Guilty Gear apparently is Final Fantasy. I guess. The remake of Final Fantasy VII is a different game with a similar story. No, it is a different game with a different story. I actually know how the stories diverge, and it's some horrible Kingdom Hearts bullshit. Like, just goddamn awful, like, Kingdom Hearts level absolute fucking trash. Because, like, even in my opinion, and that is of little worth considering I've barely played Final Fantasy of the series, uh, Final Fantasy is at least grounded in, like, some sense of its own series' reality. And then the 7 remake just, like, completely rips that to shreds and goes whole ass bonkers, time travel, fucking, we have to go change the pasty futury shit. Then again, 10 exists, so maybe I can't say that they don't go super weirdy fucky bonkers. Because 10 goes pretty super, pretty super weirdy fucky bonkers. With, you know, the entire main character not actually existing. Doggies! That was pretty weird. But nah, it's more that the 7 remake completely spits. And stomps on and grinds the heel into the dirt. 
of like the entire story of the first game and everything it stood for and all like the emotional attachments you had to the characters. Like some of them are done better apparently, but once you get to the, you know, Sephiroth time travel garbage, way downhill is what I get from everybody who's played it. Also, when I look up Final Fantasy, apparently the, it has decided to tell me that there is a Glover remake that is being put on Steam on April 20th. And I feel like we should play that just as a time-honored tradition for our good friend Toji-san. Final Fantasy 11 Ultimate Collection Seeker Edition. Carnal Instincts? Okay, is an adult RPG? I'm sorry, what? What does this have to do with Final Fantasy? Please tell me this is not showing on my thing. Okay, good. Yeah, that's boobies, all right. Yeah, that's pornographies. It... It's... Fucking... Conan Exiles, but an actual whole-ass porn game. What? Wishlist, wishlist, wishlist. The fuck? Oh, uh, 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 I'm scarred for life. 90% of the races in this game are furries. Help. Wishlist, wishlist, wishlist. Final Fantasy OST and wallpaper. I'm not sure what Conan Exiles, but it's actually a whole ass porn game, has to do with Final Fantasy. But uh, all right, thanks, Steam. Didn't need to, you know, go to heaven. Thanks. Appreciate it. Big preach. Just painting my soul. Thanks. Look, look, I'm already hellbound 100% by the fact that I'm going to play, um... Oh, what was it called on stream? Um... Not Temtem. Pal World! Which is Pokemon, but with war crimes and animal abuse. But also, if they pull it off right, it looks fucking... It looks like it could be amazing. Because it is, like, standard, stock standard survival game meets... Harvest Moon, Pokemon, and, like, a little bit of Minecraftiness. And that sounds awesome. If it's not just haha lol memes. You know, and war crimes. Hopefully, they make it so you don't have to put your um, your adorable little poker man ripoffs into a life of indentured servitude and actual literal factory slavery, where the feature is literally explained as they will work themselves until they die as long as you feed them. What if I want to be like nice and give them breaks? And days off and stuff. Can I can I make the, the automation nicer? I do, however, like the option of ha of being an absolute fucking bastard and you know horribly abusing the Pokemon, if only for the fact that me and my friends can form a sweet like squad guild, whatever the heck they were they're gonna call it, a faction. 
of people solely dedicated to burning down those factories. We can be the eco-terrorists fighting for goodness. We'll be PETA, but not... We won't be PETA, because PETA just kills animals anyways. We'll be good PETA, but also extra-violent PETA. You know, but actually caring about the animals, and not just freeing them only to murder them ourselves. It's not very Bezos of you, Fetty. That's not very cash money of you, Fanny. Look, I'm used to being poor. I don't... I don't need... I don't have a drive to, like, for riches and... Oh. What happened? Oh! Death happened! Mode 7. Nice. I feel like I'd be a good business owner, because being a poor piece of shit myself, I know dust struggle. And how to not abuse the shit out of people's good intentions and their own needs themselves. Oh, great. Did I get fucking eaten? Am I on the inside of a creature? Layla is missing. Well, Layla's dead. We are in a Leviathan. Fantastic. Oh boy, stomach acid. You know, they could have tried to hide the fact that it's the inside of a creature by, like, maybe making you think it's some sort of fire cave. Uh, no. 69.9, nice. Do I have to fight the Leviathan? Can I beat up its uvula until it vomits us out? If that is the end of this, I'm- oh! Eh. If that's the end of this, I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> Contained in a twist headband. On a corpse that has been partially digested. What does this face headband do? Is it a that guards against mental status ailments such as sleep? But is it good? Yes. You have to fight Leviathan's worms. And that's what I'm doing. All these things are pretty much parasites, right? Look, if the definition of a parasite can be something like a, um, like a, um, a tapeworm, which doesn't necessarily feed off you, it just lives inside you and eats the crap that's in so that you eat. These count as parasites. They're doing the same thing. Power Sash. Never mind, fuck that one thing. I want this. Okay, quit. Where's my Power Sash? It does have less defense. We're gonna give that to Zeph, because Zeph fucks with her swords. Things just die. And that's good. <laughs> also, swords are less powerful and more accurate, so... Kind of diversifying that, giving her power things before me. Alright. <laughs> Did I just go in a butthole? No shit, people. We have established like a small thing in here. What are you what are you giving me angry faces for? I'm giving you preferential on power items. We're inside the Leviathan's stomach. Yep, thank you. Alpha got a lot of valves in here. Leviathan swallowed us whole. Move, money. Power armlet. That's very wrong. What up? 
New arrivals, eh? So who are you? Oh, Eklet Taliosa. Wild Rose? Crystal Rod. You guys, were, uh, you guys were also after the Ultima Tome when you got swallowed up. Since you're looking for the same thing, we might as well team up. There's a boat up ahead, but there's also some one tough monster standing in our way. But who knows? Together we might be able to take it down. The Dragoon, Rickard, just joined our party. Dragon ate his H. Also, we found a living Dragoon. Wow. The last Dragoon. I got an achievement. And this would ever happen to us if we were for that old man and his stupid crystal rod. The Vi that is a beast that protects the seal of the sour. It swallows up anyone who has the crystal rod. See, I've got a crystal rod right here. Ten years I've been living here. There's no way out, I'm sure of it. The sooner you give up and accept it, the easier it'll be for you. Best NPC ever coming up. The Dragoon Man? And it's just great. We're supposed to live inside the rest of our lives here. I mean, if you have swords, you could literally cut yourself out. Like, just fashion a bunch of these wooden things into basically battering rams. Cram it through the, the wall of its stomach and let it die and then walk out. Stomach hemorrhaging is no joke. Ooh, pink. All right, never mind. It's taking Pepto-Bismol. It is immune to stomach pain. And heartburn. And indigestion. And diarrhea! Oh, this is its mouth. You guys realize you can just walk up here, right? It's even got a whole ass ship stuck in its teeth. Gaia blade. Mmm, <sighs> big. Can you wield two lances? Sweet, one for each arm. The dragoon has red eyes. Oh no, he's a spooky. Glowing red eyes. I think that's supposed to be the eye hole of his mask. Who knows, maybe he's evil. Nice. He's got pretty good stats. And zero magic capability. Never mind. He hits hard, but man. Man, man, that helped. Osmos. With MP unused in battle. Oh, we do fight a worm. I'm almost out of mana. It's okay, I have a thousand ethers. Okay, a hundred. A thousand mana worth of ethers. <laughs> Is this the next boss that I'll fight and it'll just fucking deck me and I'll have to grind for a while? Where are my ethers? Go! Or maybe since it gave us Rickard so close to the boss, it expects us to have those vague stats. In which case, Worm Doodle gonna die. <laughs> Here it is, a round worm. That's, that's what you're. That's what you're calling it. Not like the Guardian Worm or Slayer of Drinker of Pebdo Bismol. Think about this thing. We get the hell out of here on that boat. I still think killing the dragon is a viable... 
It's just a fucking worm. <laughs> okay, I stand corrected. Nice. Ew. I saw it as square. <laughs> it's an ancient weapon used by the people of the a oh goodbye record of the ancient world. It's just a cricket bat. Um. I suppose this will work in any capacity, considering it's very low. I'll be mean to that too. Stun, maybe? <laughs> I doubt any of these are gonna hit. Oh, shit! Never mind, I. Did not mean to press that button. Kick it, shit in! Ow. We'll be fine. Hey, fine. <laughs> Good job, Rickard. Gotta hate that name. Why isn't his name just Richard? We already have a guy named Gordon and, like, Paul. Escape by ship. Bye, fuckers! <laughs> just left everybody down there and took the only way out. Wow. <gasps> a stick. It's gonna vanish and we're gonna vanish with it. Nope, it just is lasers. Okay. Cool! All that for a door. What's in here? Spooky Jose. Although those are not Jose, those are skeletons. Dragoons left in the world. Rest in peace. need preemptive strikes. We're probably fast enough and hard enough to kill them anyways. <laughs> this must be the fire floor. Killer Mantis and a vampire girl. Ooh! Yeah, you can tell she's a girl. You got huge glowing red eyes. Definitely vampire. <laughs> flame bow and flame lance. Didn't I have the flame bow at the beginning of the game? 
or well, rough beginning of the game because I got it way too early and it fucked everything up. Or is that a fire bow? I think it might have been a fire bow. Flame bow is probably a better version. It's been a while since I had that. Back to the list of Final Fantasy games. Uh, Final Fantasy VII: Traces of Two Pasts. Final Fantasy VII: The First Soldier. Final Fantasy VII: Ever Crisis. Final Fantasy IX: The Animated Series, which does not have a link to it. I can't even look at that. Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X Eternal Calm, Final Fantasy X-2, Final Fantasy X-2 The Last Mission, Final Fantasy X-2.5, Ein no Daisho, Final Fantasy X Will, Final Fantasy XI R, Final Fantasy Grand Masters, Final Fantasy Tactics, War of the Lions. Final Fantasy Vagrant Story. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Final Fantasy 12, apparently. Final Fantasy Tactics A2 Grimoire of the Rift. Final Fantasy 12 Revenant Wings, which is very weird that this is all bundled in with Tactics. Final Fantasy Crystal Defenders. Final Fantasy Dive to Hunt the Adventures of Sorbet. That's some adventurous ice cream. Final Fantasy CD Vanguard Storm. Final Fantasy Tactics S. You know they're getting serious. Final Fantasy Fortress. Final Fantasy 13. Final Fantasy 13 2. Final Fantasy 13. Ligthning Returns. Final Fantasy 13 Type 0. Final Fantasy 13 Egito. Final Fantasy 13 Awakening. Jesus Christ, there's so many more. This is like half the list only, or less even. Slightly below. Ahem. Final Fantasy 15. Brotherhood. Final Fantasy 15 Platinum Demo. Final Fantasy 15 Kingsglaive. Final Fantasy 15 Justice Monsters 5. Click. Feels like it should be a card game. It's Pinball! Wait, is this Pinball? It's Fucking pinball. Wait, no, right. It's the pinball you can play inside Final Fantasy 15, isn't it? I remember that. Final Fantasy 15, A King's Tale. Final Fantasy 15, A New Empire. Final Fantasy 15, King's Knight. Final Fantasy 15, I'm going to stop saying the Final Fantasy number in front of each of these. Monsters of the Deep. Pocket Edition. Episode Carbuncle. Episode Arden. Prologue. Dawn of the Future, and Memorpaga. Because apparently they need to be a Final Fantasy XV MMORPG, despite Final Fantasy XIV <gasps> already being a thing. Crystal Chronicles series. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Ring of Fate. My Life as King. Echoes of Time. My Life as a Dark Lord. And The Crystal Bears, which I believe was the remake and was fucking shit. Nope, just a different one. 
Final Fantasy Legends, Final Fantasy Legends 2, Final Fantasy Legends 3, Final Fantasy Dimensions, and Final Fantasy Dimensions de Trois. I think it's 3. I don't know what 2 is. Final, would you like to purchase this DLC to find out what happened Fantasy 15? Is there really... Did they really pull a Mass Effect? Like, you don't get the true ending unless you buy it. Final Fan... Oh, sorry. Dissidia Final Fantasy. Duo... Ekim... Prologus. What? Is this a Final Fantasy only released in the Vatican? Dissidia 012, Dissidia Final Fantasy Nut Opera Omnia, Theo Theatrhythm Final Fantasy, Curtain Call, All Star Carnival. You're getting ridiculous. Good job, Rickard. Hold on, let's wait. <clears throat> Chocobo Racing, Chocobo no Fushigi na Dungeon, Chocobo Dungeon 2, Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Tales, Chocobo Tu Mahu Echon, Majo To Soju To Gonin no Yusha, all one title, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 words, at least what I assume are words. Final Fantasy Fable, Chocobo's Dungeon, Chocobo Stallion, Dice de Chocobo, and Chobico Panic. World of Final Fantasy, and Melly Mello. Final Fantasy Brave, Brave Exvius. Final Fantasy Tap, which is just a mobile game, which almost has people kissing on the front. Okay. Tat the Smooch. Oh god, it's gonna be one of those, like, crappy Flash games, don't get caught kissing. But it's gonna be Wario and Waluigi, and it's gonna scar me for life. Oh, it's fire. Final Fantasy War of the Visions. Final Fantasy Explorers. And Final Fantasy Explorers Force. Final Fantasy Unlimited. Which I assume was very limited, considering there's, like, four more. Definitely. Final Fantasy Unlimited with you. So I guess the first one was Final Fantasy Unlimited. Final Fantasy Unlimited on PC Adventure Labyrinth. Final Fantasy Art Dicks and Art Dicks Dive. Other spin-offs. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Final Fantasy Adventure. Final Fantasy Four Heroes of Light. Pictologica, Final Fantasy. Voice Fantasy. Is this karaoke Final Fantasy? Yes. Cool. Final Fantasy Airborne Brigade. Final Fantasy, All the Bravest. Final Fantasy, putting far too much emphasis on the F in all of this. Alright, I'm not poisoned, it's just... Am I poisoned? No, it's just lava. Final Fantasy! Did I say Airborne Brigade? All the bravest. Final Fantasy Record Keeper. How to work for Square Enix. Wow! Wait, can I not go back now? Oh no. Thanks, swim up the lava. Final Fantasy, no sorry, Mobius Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. The movie where everybody turns to jizz. Final Fantasy, the trading card game. Final Fantasy, where's my Tetra Master? God damn it. Fucking... Whatever the goddamn eights card game is inferior to Tetra Master. I know Tetra Master is a lot more complex, but god damn do I love Tetra Master. 
people need to have some patience and learn the goddamn game. Final Fantasy. Lost Stranger. Not Strangers. Stranger. Final Fantasy. Worldwide Words. Final Fantasy, the digital card game. Strangers of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origins. Related franchises. Brave Deus Ex? I understand Dragon Quest and Bravely Default and Kingdom Hearts and Star Ocean. What the fuck does Deus Ex have to do with Final Fantasy? Oh, there's like a Final Fantasy reference in the game. Skipping that. Related game. Bahamut Lagoon. Okay. Er guys, God bless the ring. Lord of Vermilion. Blood of Behemet. Gyromancer. Mario Hoops 3-on-3? Three three? Mario Sports Mix? This is a Nintendies franchise, thank you. Monster X Dragon. The sexiest installment, it seems. Puzzle and Dragon. The nerdiest installment, it seems. Super Smash Brothers. I guess because Cloud's in it. Samurai Rising. Super Mario RPG and Secret of Evermore. There. Your entire list of Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy related shit. It's not even the original Deus Ex, probably it's just referencing Final Fantasy, the one where they attack the Game Spy satellite. It's not a Game Spy satellite. It's a Game Spy Shadow Government space station and alien research facility. If all you can hear is a dial-up tone, don't worry, it'll go away in 30 to 40 seconds. You made good progress, Moby. You defeat me, blah, blah, blah. You must defeat me if you wish to continue your ascent. Is he going to turn into the buff mage? Oh. No, he a big boy. Is this just a single gigas? Fire giant. That's not so bad, kill. Snowboarding! Can I get Final Fantasy snowboarding? Oh, that was a lot of damage. Is a replay of the snowboarding minigame from Icicle Inn in Final Fantasy VII playable on the second floor of Wonder Square? What? Wonder Square? There is like a mini game arcade in Final Fantasy VII. All right, I might have to actually play Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> mini game has also appeared a standalone game, Final Fantasy VII Snowboarding, for mobile phones in North America in 2005. Oh my God, I didn't even notice before. It's not even like a good graphics smartphone game. It's a flip phone smartphone game. From when you had like a 80 by 60 pixel screen. Oh. Quah. That's not a quah, but I'll take it. Turn it down a little bit. Ah, oh, it's just a loop. Oh. Chocobo theme in the NES. Hang on. We're gonna go through all the Chocobo themes right now.
is from this game before it was remade. To go around the entire room to go over to that one. I guess in the one on the far right is the right one. Yeah, this one only goes to a chest. Final Fantasy 3! Ooh! Well, this one's got some class. This is before it got, like, more than the... Oh, there it is! Final Fantasy 2 is the 8 second loop. This one actually has the other parts. This is the, no, this is the uh, Final Fantasy DS, or 3 DS one. Final Fantasy 4 for the DS. Ow, decides to deafen you first. It's very loud, I am aware. <laughs> At least their basilisks look more basilisky in this one. Before they were just like something with a dude head. Oh, it's gone. I'm sad. Final Fantasy V, the Boko's theme. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm learning my Final Fantasy lore here. Okay, I have to know what every single Chocobo theme sounds like. Or I'm gonna be a terrible new fan. Okay? Aww. Techno de Chocobo. Is this gonna be do, do, do? Oh! Holy shit! I thought it was gonna be like Chocobo Hard Bass. Or Bass. No! It's Techno. Which is in the name. Technologico. Do I only get 28 seconds of each? Or is this gonna go longer? <gasps> it's going longer. Ah, oh, it went for 29 seconds. Pfft. Final Fantasy VII's Choke Chuboko. Ooh. They decided to mix it up. And make it jazzy? Oi! Oi, oi, where's the rest of it? Don't you do this to me. Don't you hold out on me. Here you go. Oh. Upload longer clips, Wikipedia. <gasps> this is my favorite one. I remember this one. It's very... Western. Riding these birds all the way damn down there to Texas. Yeah. Don't mind Ricard being dead. We thought we had a fourth chocobo and we'd survive in the armor, but uh, when we tied him to with a string to the back of it, he kind of fell off and got drugged for 26 miles before anybody noticed the screaming. See, that's the trade-off when you have a sick beat for the road that plays from the ethereal every time you hop on the bird. I do not care for that one. How about this one? No! That's weird. Okay, it's got a sick ass bass line. I like the sick ass bass line. Ooh. It's a very weird remix. But I'm not not into it. Ukulele de Chocobo. 
Oh, it's nice. Never mind, this is my new favorite one. Oh, it's so pleasant. It's elevator music. <laughs> gonna end soon, and I'm gonna be sad. You made good progress, but you should defeat me if you wish to continue your ascent. Blarg, I am also a huge muscle man. See? I was right. Brass to choke about. So just gonna be trumpets. Oh no, it's the Final Fantasy X one. Damn it, I've spoiled it. Fuck, hang on. Track list. Hmm. Brass de Chocobo. Here we go. For your listening pleasure. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's wonderful. This exists. Oh no. And then it just goes into the pleasant <laughs> trumpet. Fantasy 10 is going to be torture when I get to it, isn't it? <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh, I missed the chest. It's halfway done. Oh, God. <sighs> and everyone abandons my... 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 <laughs> everyone abandons the street. Alright, enough torture. This is from 10-2, just called Chocobo. That came on sudden and strong. Oh god! Was that the jingle? No wonder people hate 10-2! Why did they do to it? Why? why? Oh, hey, let's just Zelda. Oh, hey, Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Poison hurts. I could still be Legend of Zelda. What about this one? It's from 12. That is very epic and symphonic. I don't think distant oboe quite fits the burbs. Or 
clarinet, whatever it is. Yeah, these don't work. I'm going to rate the Final Fantasy games purely on their rendition of the Chocobo song. Never mind, because I don't have to rate Final Fantasy XIII highly, and I'm not going to do that. The one good thing in the game. And 10 2 has groovy chocobo. And it's immediately ruined. Why is it muffled? That's not, that's not Chocobo, that's random violin. Vaguely Chocobo jingle. Gross. Crazy Chocobo. Let's not. Final Fantasy 14. This is not the Chocobo theme I remember. Okay, it better build up something good. It's very Sonic the Hedgehog. For some reason, that's the vibe it gives me. <laughs> okay, then. Earth Under Our Feet is apparently a Chocobo theme. Let's not. What else got here? World of Final Fantasy. Prismelody Chocobo. Okay, other than the intro being wacky and too wild. Sharks. I like the inclusion of birdies. Adorable. Another one from World of Final Fantasy, entitled Wishes. I do, too, wish for a Chocobo. I'd say I wish for them to be real, but they are real. They're called emus, who have been covered in mustard. Or your choice of butter. Possibly exotic. Spider silk. Uh, another guest the room, huh? Final Fantasy Unlimited, entitled just Chocobo. Very sp not sporadic, but distant. Oh, that's all for the ones on the wiki. I am sad. Could have been greatness. I wish my lights would stop flickering. I don't know what causes it. It just happens. Back to game sound. What time is it? Ten minutes left. It was a good day, and I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful time, too. I sure did enjoy walking around and pressing X. Somehow. I, that, I say that, like, as a half-sarcastic joke, but I'm, I'm not having a bad time with it. It's like the same with the first game. Like, I, this doesn't feel like something I would enjoy. It's literally just walking around and pressing X when the screen goes at me. But, like... I'm okay. <laughs> he 
got a unicorn. I got something else that I think was... Nice armor clothes! Or if you want to suffer. Maybe not. I thought I picked up a piece of equipment that I was ignoring in play in 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 lieu of chocobosis. Oh that's it. She's gonna increase the number of attack as the same effects as his. It'd be nice if it weren't a single use. I guess that's the balance. It'd be nice to just get a haste book. Surprise, but if you wish to continue your ascent, is this the wind giant? That was a fancy ass intro. And X. Oh. Well, at least I do damage to him. actually taken uh, quite a bit of punishment. Or we're not dishing it out. Like we used to. Times have changed for an aging adventurer. Oh my god. Okay. Couple cherries to heal up a little bit. Okay. Uh... I had a fancy healing sprite. <laughs> oh god, we were one hit away. <laughs> Much more tower is there. Oh, sweet Jesus, I hate it. One of these doors is the right one, isn't it? They're not just random treasure rooms. Feels like the final dungeon of the game. Or maybe the second to final, because the second to final dungeon of the game was also a big old lungy tower. Oh no, uh, and poison token. Wow, we actually had a party member die. That wasn't our tag along. We might have another. Might. Yes, she just killed herself. And she. 
There she goes. <laughs> All right, then. Why are 99 of these? <laughs> See, I like matches like that, or battles like that, where there's actually a threat. Even if I still get through it by pressing X. <laughs> you squint real hard, it looks like 69 Ice Circle is smacking them with a little guitar. <laughs> Free elixir for that fight, too. Yeah, we're getting elixirs. How close are we to the end of the game? Because the elixirs are the heal everything up. Oh. Elixirs are the heal everything. Come to my war, right? <laughs> Whoops. Gotta put attack on. Well, it's not that one. <laughs> Chunk of health. Of course, it's the furthest one. Why wouldn't it be? Gotos. Hey, what the? Dana, what are you doing here? We killed you at the castle. Oh, they can fool you. There it is. Blair Tom. <gasps> the bomb! Hold up. We have to grind up the tactical nuke spell. Eventually. That's all the rooms. Was one of them a fake out and actually had a door at the end that I could go in? <laughs> Skadoosh! It'll take a little bit. Right, when you get spells, they fucking suck. Let me guess, one of these rooms has... looks just like the other rooms when you first enter it. But... We can go to move up to get up. <laughs> Magic is extremely utter well to get this game, uh-huh. Okay, yeah, this one. I completely blanked on the shape. Cool! Another pick a door. That we will come back to on the morrow, for I must away, for it is 11 o'clock. <sighs> Thank y'all very much for watching. Hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed this stream. I want to send y'all over Toki's way, as I always do. 
and you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I'm gonna go find food. Bye.